All right, so lesson 88 is on using proportions to solve word problems. So here we have the ratio of salamanders to frogs was 5 to 7. If there were 20 salamanders, how many frogs were there? When I were dealing with ratios, the easiest way to do it is to draw my ratio box. Okay. So in this case, I have the ratio of salamanders to frogs. Okay, was 5 to 7. Remember, we have ratio in the first box, actual count in the second box. If there were 20 salamanders, it wants to know how many frogs there are. So my unknown number is the frogs. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these out. So I get 5 over 7 is equal to 20 over F. We've just turned this into a proportion, okay? Because I know that these two numbers have to be equal to each other when we're dealing with ratios. So five sevenths equals twenty over something. Okay, this one we can actually just find the constant factor. So I can think five times what equals twenty. Okay, so five times four equals twenty. So I've multiplied the top by four. I can multiply the bottom by four. So 7 times 4 is equal to 28. So my answer is that there are 28 salamanders. Or, sorry, frogs. 28 frogs. Now, if this number wasn't the same, then I would need to do a cross product, which you'll see in this next example. So here we have, if three sacks of concrete will make 12 square feet of sidewalk, predict how many sacks of concrete are needed to make 40 feet of square of sidewalk. So again, I'm going to do my actual count, or my ratio box. Ratio, actual count. So I have the sacks, and I have the square feet. So I know that three sacks of concrete will make... 12 square feet. So if I have 40 square feet that I need to make, I need to figure out how many sacks I need. So again, we're going to turn this into a proportion. 3 over 12 is equal to something, so we're going to put sacks, S, something over 40. Again, I'm going to cross. In this case, I can't think 12 times what is 40. So I'm going to cross multiply. So I end up with 12s equals 3 times 40. Again, don't multiply these two numbers together yet. We will be able to cancel. Okay, so divide both sides by 12 to get the s all by itself. The 12s cancel. Now I can reduce and simplify. I know that 12 and 3 I can simplify. 3 becomes a 1. 12 becomes a 4. Now I can do it again. The 4 and the 40 will simplify. 4 becomes a 1. 40 becomes a 10. So that means I will need just 10 sacks to make 40 square feet of sidewalk. Okay. And that is my answer. Okay, and that's all. Good luck on your homework.